OpenAI has been cranking out updates with some very useful features for ChatGPT. In this video, I'm gonna focus on three of them which I find most useful. All three features require the paid plus version of ChatGPT. And if you rely on AI for your everyday task, I highly recommend the plus version, especially given how actively they are adding new features. Chat with voice. For almost a year now, ChatGPT has been my trusted virtual assistant. But typing my prompts and reading the responses back on a computer screen or phone screen means that I have to be actively engaged in our conversation. So if I was doing some light activities like washing the dishes or folding the laundry, I couldn't interact with ChatGPT. That's until recently. The official app for iOS and Android now has a feature called Chat with Voice that allows you to communicate with ChatGPT hands-free without having to look at the screen. This is a completely different experience than talking to other chat assistants like Siri, Google, or Alexa. It almost feels like you're talking to a real person. So whether you're stuck in traffic or taking a walk around the neighborhood, you can have a very engaging and informative conversation with ChatGPT. For example, you can ask things like, what are the main ideas behind stoicism? Absolutely. Discussing stoicism is quite interesting. So stoicism is built around mastering self-control, developing clear judgment, and cultivating inner peace. So if you want to use this, first you'll need to download the app from your phone. On the iPhone, go to the App Store and type ChatGPT. Make sure you choose the official app by OpenAI. You can do the same in Android using Google Play. Once you open the app, you'll see this little headphone icon you can tap to use chat with voice. It takes a couple of seconds to connect, then it'll prompt you to speak. I'll exit out of here. The first time you use this feature, it'll ask you to select a voice, which I've already done. But if you want to change it, tap on this double line on the upper left corner, then tap your initial. Then under the speech section, choose voice. Then select the one you like. Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. So if there's anything you'd like me to focus on. Hey there, I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. And that's it. Not only is this useful, it's truly a fun and engaging experience. I highly recommend you give it a try. Custom instructions. In order for you to get the best response back from ChatGPT, you need to provide the right prompts with clarity, context, and precision. If you provide a generic prompt, you get a generic response back. For example, let's ask ChatGPT to explain what cells and microorganisms are. And it gives us a response, which is fine for most general audiences. But now let's say that you're a science teacher in middle school and you're teaching various science-related concepts to your seventh grade students. This is an important context to provide to ChatGPT so that it can tailor its responses. So let's type that in. I am a middle school teacher who teaches science for seventh graders. I want to explain the concept of cells and microorganisms in a fun and engaging way that uses analogies that 10 year olds would be able to understand. I want to spend less than three minutes introducing this concept, so keep it brief. When I hit enter, I get a more appropriate response that is tailored to seventh grade students. Now this is great, but if you wanna teach other concepts to your students, you'd have to type this in at the start of each conversation. This is where custom instructions can save you a lot of time and effort, as it allows you to set instructions that can be applied to all future chats. To set your custom instructions, click on your name and choose custom instructions. Then toggle on enable for new chats. Now we can share some details about ourselves and how we plan on using ChatGPT. We're essentially providing the context here. Then in the bottom box, we can provide instructions on how we want ChatGPT to respond. We can write things like output the response in bullets, table form, use polite tone, whatever you want. For this example, let's say we want the response in a paragraph format and for it not to exceed 350 words. And let's save that. We'll start a new chat. This time, I'm not going to provide any context, no elaborate instructions. I'm just going to type explain genetics. And look at the results. The response is tailored to seventh graders, and the output is in a paragraph format. 
Let's start a new chat and try a different example. Explain velocity. And again, perfect for our needs. And as a point of comparison, let's turn off custom instructions and see how it responds now. We'll start a new chat and enter the same prompt, explain velocity. And now look at this. We get a response back that a few seventh graders will be able to understand. I think you'll agree that this is a super useful feature. I do wish that we had the option to add multiple instructions and choose which to use at the start of each chat session but it does seem like they may be addressing that real soon. DALI 3. ChatGPT is now multimodal, which means it can now see, hear, and speak. We can seamlessly transition between image, text, and voice prompts within the same conversation. What's interesting is that while I was putting together this video, ChatGPT interface got an update. If you have GPT-4 selected, you can now use DALI internet browsing and analysis straight from your chat prompt without having to switch between the three modes. With that said, I'm really excited that we can now create images via text prompt using DALI-3 directly from within ChatGPT. Let's try this. Let's type in, create an image of a snowman in a backyard. It returns two images at a time and they're amazing images right off the bat super impressed. However, the image style is kind of plain and generic. We can get a more stylized image by providing more descriptive image captions. This paper from OpenAI provides some instructions and examples for generating better images. There are some great examples here. I'll copy this one and paste it to our prompt and make some changes and change some of the details to make it about a snowman. Now we get much more stylized images back compared to the first set. And if we enlarge one of the images, you can see the texture details in the snow, which is simply amazing. As you can see, ChatGPT continues to evolve, giving us new and better ways to engage with it. There's just a ton of innovation happening in this space. It's really hard to keep up. So if you want to stay up to date on what's happening in AI, especially as it relates to productivity and note-taking, be sure to subscribe and follow my channel. And if you want to watch more AI-related content, check out these videos next.